So I'm on Twitter doing what I do, minding my own business, and I see Charles Barkley is trending. And I'm like, why is Charles Barkley trending? What did he do now? So I'm going to show you guys a video. I'm going to show you guys a clip of what happened. But here go some words. Hey, let me tell you something. All you rednecks or a-holes who don't want to drink Bud Light, F y'all. Hey, y'all can't cancel me, Barkley said to a mixture. I'm doing a good Barkley impersonation. To a mixture of cheers and boo booing from the crowd. Hey, I ain't worried about getting canceled because let me tell you something. If y'all fire me and give me all that money, I'm going to be playing golf every day. So listen, as I said last night, if you are gay, God bless you. If you are trans, God bless you. And if you have a problem with it, F you. This is his follow-up remarks to this. This. I want y'all to drink this fucking beer. I want y'all to drink this fucking beer. I got three cases of Bud Light. Hey, and I want to say this. If you're gay, bless you. If you're transgender, bless you. And if you have a problem with that, Fuck you! Take this. So, for those that know Charles Barkley, this is not his first time standing up for the trans community and the gay community. He said, I got a lot of gay and trans friends. I have no problem with them. I support them. I rock with them. That's his personal opinion. But he came right at the rednecks. He came right at people that, you know, don't like. And I covered a video the other day. What was it, um, Woke or Naw, where the transgender person with Bud Light ended up endorsing Bud Light, and they had a spokesperson. And once they did that, Amheiser Bush stock completely went down because a lot of the conservative people that drink it was like, we are, can't swing them. You had Kid Rock shoot a bunch of Bud Light with his toy gun and all that type of funny stuff. My personal opinion is like, it don't matter to me. If you give me a Bud Light right now, I drink it. It's not that important. It's the world. Everything have an agenda. All these companies have agenda. My thing as a black man in America, if you're openly racist, I just don't support you. If you behind the scenes racist, I don't care because majority of things is owned by rich, old, racist white people. That's just what what it is. So if I knew everything, then it's like, all right, you know, I'm not about to endorse that. But if I don't know, it's not that deep. Because if I stop drinking Bud Light and I go over and start drinking Modelo, I start drinking Budweiser. And if you look up the history behind what they doing, oh, man, they have history ties with trafficking. This person, like young pedophilia, like, it's always going to be something, so it really don't personally matter to me. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. I'm just saying, I don't like the agendas being pushed on you, but people's pissed off at Charles Barkley. He always been outspoken. He said if he get canceled, he don't give a damn. He going to golf, and he's going to do great. Do y'all think this is going to affect his brand? Do you think he will get canceled? Do you think the people in the office will call him up? I don't think they will because nobody in the business mess with trans. Like, they are protected. They're like the most protected people in the world. So him promoting and protecting them, I think they're going to keep on doing what you're doing, y'all. But, hey, drink. And you can see in the video he was obviously inebriated. And, hey, drink this, drink this effing beer, y'all. Drink like drunk old angry man, so. Charles and Charles, what's y'all thoughts in the comments?